Hey Jasmine, I heard that there's a feature in C Sharp called using static directives, but I've actually never tried it out. You have a minute to show me really quickly how it works? Sure, I have an example right here. So the using static directive allows you to introduce static types into your application without having to reference the entire type name every time. So one common example of this is using a static or a console application. A console application allows you to you know, read or write to a line, but you're going to have to introduce that console type every time that you want to do one of those things. What if we could just imply that we're using the console type every time without having to write console every time like I'm doing here on lines four through eight? So what if I could just delete all of them? I now have some errors because you know there's no way for me to reference system.console, but here's a great use for that using static directive. So if I uncomment line two, we'll see that console is now being referenced and implied and all of my errors are gone. I really like this and the code is one much cleaner. It's easy to read. I also feel like it makes it a little bit easier for me to get started with writing console applications inside of C Sharp. Now, I'm kind of wondering, does this work with some of the other static types that are also available in the framework? So something like system.daytime, for instance? Yeah, another great one is the math library. So instead of using math.py to use the pi constant, you could just write pi with using static directive. Nice. This is a really cool feature. I definitely think I'm going to try it out in some of the code that I'm going to write. And if you all that are watching think this is cool too, make sure you check out the links in the description below where you can learn about the using static directive feature inside of C Sharp.